Shalom Aleichem, heroes of the last generation, how are you doing? Wanted to share with you an, a dream that I had uh, yesterday, yesterday night. I was uh, standing and in front of me I saw a black snake standing in this uh, threatened way about to, to bite me. The Yetzirah doesn't want us to be able to do our job quietly. He will make all the noise in the world to interrupt our holy work in, uh, in progress. Let's find a quiet place. Maybe he went. Maybe they will let us talk. So, we need always to recognize what that goes on in the world as uh, obstacles and uh, ways for solution. In reality, we can see that the Yetzara is battling and fighting against us and he's not willing in no circumstances, no matter what, uh, to give us the option of living our lives quietly and uh, and to just do our thing in a way. Here I have my kids room. No one will stop us now. I can just pray. So I had this dream that uh, I saw the snake standing in front of me and willing to, to bite, willing to attack. And he was uh, in the size of, uh, of a human being, in the size of a person, or very large. And, uh, and I had a knife in my hand and I just uh, literally um, started to cut his throat to kill him. And I was, uh, I looked at myself and I realized that I was determined um, to do that thing and that I was not doubting the, the act of fighting and removing evil um, no matter what. And I was not scared and I was not afraid to do so. And um, after I finished killing him totally and I was happy means not happy and nothing was joyful in that act but I was complete with myself and I felt good with the fact that I was determined to do that thing and that I was able to and then I asked myself how can it be that that's it like you killed the Yetzara that, that was the end of how can it be so easy and then I realized that in front of me um, and there is something much larger, greater than I can, uh, that I saw until that moment. And um, like that, uh, snakes, like fish, they have scales. So I realized that that snake that I saw was actually a scale of a much larger gigantic snake and that that pillar that is uh, that wall that is standing in front of me is a gigantic snake that from every one of his scales a snake a black snake comes out um, and willing to attack and I immediately when I recognized it so I held my knife stronger and exactly in the same willingness and and the uh, understanding of what my purpose is and what um, the mission that is in front of me is without questioning anything I kept on cutting the throat of that large snake and I was not focusing anymore in killing the individual snakes 
just deeper and deeper into the throat of that gigantic wall of snakes that was the main snake himself. And while I'm cutting deep into its flesh and killing it, slaughtering it completely, I asked myself, how can you not being attacked right now? Like how they're not biting you, how you don't have no um, obstacles, no difficulties. And then I realized that because that I'm so determined to do what I do, and I'm not questioning about it, no harm can happen to me in that mindset. And it was a very, very important lesson for me. It was a very deep understanding. When you set your mind to do something and you have a goal, there is no thing in the world that can stop you. And there is nothing that is standing against you, against your will, and that can stop you from achieving your goals. And I think that you should uh, take that lesson seriously for your own sake and for your own good, not to give up on your dreams, not to give up on your loved ones, not to give up on the truth, not to give up on anything that inspires you and that you feel that is the truth that you need to uncover or to reveal or to fight for. May Hashem answer all our prayers. Amen. Ken Yehiratsan. Thank you. Você está assistindo Emoná Português. Seu apoio nos ajuda imensamente. Por favor, inscreva-se, curta e deixe-nos um comentário com qualquer dúvida que você tenha. O melhor de tudo é simplesmente compartilhar este vídeo, ajudando essas mensagens de fé a chegarem a todas as pessoas. Não importa a sua origem. Fique bem e shalom.